Um, here is a sort of portrait in the childish nature of the modern American right wing. As many of you know, this phrase, let's go, Brandon, has become, yes, a cringeworthy, but a rallying cry nonetheless for the American anti Biden right wing. Let's go, Brandon. If you're not familiar with it, there was a NASCAR driver named Brandon who was being interviewed after a race and the crowd was chanting F Joe Biden. But the reporter doing the interview heard it as let's go, Brandon, instead of F Joe Biden, it's let let's go, Brandon. So because it was misheard now, if you mean F Joe Biden, you say let's go, Brandon, they've got flags, they've got shirts, they've got all sorts of merchandise. Of course, it's being monetized. It's, it's not a good right wing meme unless it's being monetized. Joe Biden and Jill Biden took phone calls from people over the holiday to say hello and to say, you know, different things. That was my phone that dropped. Um, and a guy got on the phone with Joe Biden and he actually said, let's go, Brandon. And Joe Biden, seemingly unaware of the meme or at least choosing not to react to it, um, says, yeah, OK, let's let's go, Brandon. And the right is absolutely aroused and titillated by it. They are foaming at the mouth. They think it's great, except now the guy who did it, Jared Schmeck, is saying I was kidding and it was just my free speech and now I am being harassed. So let's go through the different elements of it. Here is the video of this incident taking place and Joe Biden seems to either not care or not even be aware of the meme. This isn't to you, Jared. This is to the kids. <laughs> I hope you have a wonderful hey, Christmas. Wolf. Yeah, I hope you guys have a wonderful Christmas as well. Oh, Merry thanks. Christmas and let's go, Brandon. Let's go, Brandon. I agree. <laughs> hey, by the way, where are you in Oregon? Where's your home? I think we lost him. Yeah. Okay, so it's very dumb. I mean, if this is the big wow payoff. It's a very, very dumb payoff, but the right loved it. Here is Donald Trump Jr. saying it's amazing and Joe Biden doesn't know what's going on, et cetera, et cetera. I mean, who would have thought Joe Biden just gave guys like me the greatest Christmas present ever? He has no idea what's going on, folks. So I'm laughing and we're joking. Uh, and maybe this guy, the guy who yelled out the let's go, Brandon, that guy's a hero. Not all heroes wear capes unless this guy's wearing a cape, uh, which he should. Uh, absolutely amazing. Yeah. So listen, first of all, if Joe Biden really didn't recognize, like, let's assume Joe Biden's not doing a poker face here. Let's assume he really doesn't recognize the meme. I don't care whether presidents are aware of the memes about them and the jokes and the insults about them. I really don't care. I care about policy and I have many criticisms of Joe Biden about policy, which I've made on the show. But I don't care if Joe Biden doesn't know about this. If he does and he just kept a poker face, that's even even funnier. But the really funny part at the end of the day is the reaction from the guy who did it. Uh, Jared Schmeck, who is the guy that did this, claims he is, quote, being attacked for utilizing my freedom of speech after he essentially told the president to F himself. The right loves to talk about tone and demeanor and behaving appropriately. And what the guy essentially did is tell the president to, to his face to go F himself. If you have respect for the office, remember, under George W. Bush, Oh, even if you don't agree with the specifics of going to Iraq, you must respect the office. It's another one of those values they don't really care about. Uh, now he sort of says that he was kidding. He says it was just a joke. I don't know what the joke exactly is. And he says it was a reflection of his frustration with Biden's policies, including federal vaccine mandates, inflation and global supply supply chain problems. When I watched that video, it didn't seem like when he said, let's go, Brandon, that's what he was talking about. Schmeck went on to say at the end of the day, I have nothing against Mr. Biden, but I am frustrated because I think he could be doing a better job. Schmeck is 35 and is a former police officer now working for the electrical company and says, I mean, no disrespect to him saying F you to the president 
seems disrespectful if you're talking about respect for the office. He says, I understand there's a vulgar meaning, but I'm not that simple minded, no matter how I feel about him. Uh, just unbelievable, unbelievable. Um, it's uh, it's another one of the oh, he clarified he's not a Trumper, but is a free thinking American and follower of Jesus Christ and says, I'm being attacked for utilizing my freedom of speech. Once again, freedom of speech doesn't mean freedom from the consequences of that speech. When you go and tell the president to his face to F himself, there may be people who don't like that. And that speech might have consequences. There's no violation of your First Amendment. The government is not limiting or abridging your your ability to speak in any way, but there simply may be consequences. So this was his big moment. Donald, he he got an attaboy from Donald Trump Jr. And he's also getting a lot of people responding and saying, you know, that that was actually pretty lame. Uh, nobody has violated his ability to speak. In fact, most people never get the opportunity to say anything to the president. Jared Schmeck did. And he said, let's go, Brandon, make of it what you will. We have uh, a couple of actually I have like four or five different things to tell you about that are upcoming. First of all, we have sent out dozens of free T-shirts to viewers. I made the offer a couple of weeks ago. If you grab a new full priced yearly membership on our website before the end of the year, I will send you a free T-shirt for a while. Due to the pandemic, we were seeing major delays in shipping T-shirts. The delays seem to be gone. Dozens of free T-shirts have gone out. So if you want to take advantage of, of getting a free T-shirt, you can't be uh, an existing member. This is for new members. You go to joinpacman.com. You pay the full yearly price, not monthly. And then after signing up, email info at davidpacman.com. I will personally get that T-shirt out to you. Uh, just got to sign up by the end of the year. Number two, on January 1st, we are going to do a 2022 midterm kickoff special. It's going to be an insane membership discount. If you'd like to be notified about it and to take advantage of it, just get on my newsletter at davidpackman.com. That's number two. Number three, the viewer town hall is rescheduled for tomorrow. Why? We wanted to do it a couple weeks ago. When I was on the road, my connection was terrible. We just couldn't make it happen. So it's rescheduled for tomorrow, 6 p.m. Eastern on the Pacman Live YouTube channel. And then lastly, we are also going to be doing the next or I guess first for 2022 David Pakman show chess tournament. If you want to play in the chess tournament, these are great community events. Everybody's welcome. It's going to be Tuesday, January 11th at 6 p.m. Eastern. I'll have more about that in the new year, but you can mark it on the calendar. The next chess tournament, Tuesday, January 11th. 6 p.m. Eastern. So we'll take a quick break. It's great to be back and so much to talk with you about.